Okay, well, welcome everybody to the third stop on the ninth annual Downtown History and Beer Tour. We're here at Roundtable Board Gamery, an excellent place where you can come and play amazing board games. You can see behind me and George over here. And today, we're drinking a beer from Zero Issue Brewing. They opened up July 1st, 2017 in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, they are self-proclaimed comic geeks that if you look at the art on their cans, it's absolutely amazing. And today we've got a really unique Very beer unique. to taste. Yeah, it is the Guardian Mango Papaya Ale. It's classified as a wheat ale, low ABV at 3.8%. George? Really low. It's, it's a very low uh, alcohol, but the, the flavor in this just, just smacks you almost in the face. You know, you got two very flavorful fruits, the papaya and the mango, and they're both juicy fruits. And you know, to some extent, they, they, have, a, they have an influence, uh, well, obviously with the aroma, obviously with the flavor, but also with the, the color of the beer. I would have thought that they'd be a little bit orangier, but it's, it's actually um, a, a more of a straw-colored beer. But you know, just put that up to your nose, and, and man, that just almost slaps you in the face. Yeah, right away. Yeah. The aroma is very yeah. evident on it, and it's good, right? Because George will always tell you, you gotta, you gotta smell it, take the aroma in, take a big breath, and take a sip. That's right. Right. So much, that's much like tasting wine, it's very, very similar. Very similar. Yeah. The one thing that you'll notice about this beer is there's not much head on it either, and I think that's partly because of you know the fruit influence in it and, and that kind of thing. So. Um, it's it's with being a low alcohol. It's it's it could be a session beer, and that and that means yes. that you could you could drink more than one, you know, in in succession. So yeah, uh, usually midday, midday. If you needed that midday beverage. Yeah, yeah. And being a little bit sweeter, a little maltier, a lot. There's hardly any hop uh, to, yeah. to this beer at all. So um, you know, it's let's yeah. give it a let's give, let's it, give it a try. Let's see what let's see what we think. Well, that fruit is there already. Yeah, it's very evident. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very good mouthfeel, like very silky mouthfeel. Yep. Very smooth transition, and honestly, like a lingering aftertaste. That yeah. kind of very, very mouth. It's very dry yeah. in your mouth, and then it is, yeah. you know, as you said, the yeah. aftertaste. That fruit really sort of keeps that, yeah, that going. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So again, you know, low alcohol by volume, excellent fermented mm -hmm. barley. If you're ever out and about. And you know, you want something to pick up from Zero Issue Brewing. Great beer. We're at Round Table Board Gamery. George, any final thoughts? Just enjoy this beer if you try it. All right, school. When the streets of Lethbridge were first surveyed in 1885, 5th Street was actually called Round Street. It was named after Edmund Round, an investor in the Galt Coal Company. So if you ever have wondered why so many businesses on 5th Street are called Round Street, they're actually pulling from that historic name. This building that we're sitting in is actually 75 years old here in 2022. And it was the first building that the city of Lethbridge had built in 25 years. In 1922, they had built the public library, now the SAG, in Galt Gardens, and then for nothing for 25 years was actually built. This building came after the Second World War during the building boom. So why was this building one of the first businesses or buildings built after the Second World War? It was actually due to the hard work and advocacy of the Lethbridge police chief, George Harvey. From 1902 until this building was constructed, the police had always shared space here in Lethbridge. With the fire department, with the municipal offices, they had been in somebody else's buildings. And when Harvey became police chief in the mid-1940s, he was determined that the police would have their own building, so he advocated for it. And in 1947, this actually opened up as the Lethbridge Police Station. When it opened up, there was numerous uses in this building. The chief had an office, the magistrate had an office, there was a courtroom, there was witness rooms, public washrooms, cells, detective offices, photographic darkroom, a revolver range, and consul's quarters. An addition was constructed onto this building in 1962 and 1963, and it served as the police station until 1996 when the present police station was opened. <laughs>